Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another resin project. Or is it a Cricut project? Basically, it's all the projects. So if you've been watching my channel lately, you've noticed that I've done a couple of projects that kind of go together. Today, we're going to be taking all three of them and turning them into one big piece. So I made an aluminum sign with my Cricut that says something about an ocean. <laughs> says, ocean is everything I want to be, quiet, beautiful, mysterious, and free. We also made a small seashell with waves, and last but not least, we made a large window with waves. And today, we are going to be putting all three together and painting those last two paintings on the window with chalkboard paint for an ocean themed chalkboard with an antique window. I'm kind of obsessed with it. My mom. get started since we already have our window done, our shell done, and our aluminum piece done. All we really need today is primer and chalkboard paint so that we can do the chalkboard portions and a little bit of resin. I mixed 30 milliliters and I have 20 milliliters left so do what you want to do but like 10 milliliters is probably fine to actually glue the shell and the aluminum piece onto our window. It's going to be quick, it's going to be fun, it's going to be amazing. Let's get started. All right, y'all. Voice over Betsy here, and we're gonna jump right into this project. We've already done all of our waves. If you haven't done that, you can follow the tutorial down in the description. But we're gonna get started by doing the chalkboard portion of this window. So starting, we're going to actually prime this baby because chalkboard paint works best over primer. This is just a multi-purpose primer. We're gonna put it on with a foam brush. It's not gonna look pretty because the first coat of anything never looks pretty. That's okay. We just wanna make sure it's thin. The point of fabulousness with chalkboard paint is thin coats. The more thin coats, the better. Don't do thick coats. So just spread it out as thin as you can. Make sure you're going from corner to corner and spread everything out. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna do the top pane. It's gonna be the exact same method, which means we're gonna do really thin coats all the way across, corner to corner. If you didn't get the memo, you're gonna get it a few more times because that's basically the name of the game here. Thin, thin, thin. You're also going to see my head a lot because for what it's worth, this window is actually pretty big and I have to lean over pretty far. So we're just speeding this baby up and finishing it up with the primer. So once you're done with the primer, you wanna make sure it dries completely before you move on to the chalkboard paint, okay y'all? So leave it for an hour or two, couple hours if you can. It needs to be dried to the touch. Let's start on our chalkboard paint, and you guessed it, same thing, slow, steady, thin, thin, thin. So it's gonna look really, really bad until it starts looking good. And I'll be honest, it doesn't start looking good until about three coats of chalkboard paint, which is where I stopped with this project. After three, your chalkboard paint will work, and against a solid surface, it looks completely black, which means if you're hanging this baby on a wall, you're good to go. Now you'll see at the end of the video when I hold it up, if you're going to put this, say, on a window pane and use it kind of like stained glass, you'll be able to see the brush strokes through the black, in which case you may want to actually put a piece of black cardstock behind the window pane or keep painting coats of paint until your piece is absolutely solid. But for our purposes, three coats of black will look solid against a white background or a black background or whatever wall you've got and it will look fabulous. So three is good, it's functional and it works. All right, the hardest part is just not getting black on the frame because 
I'm a pretty good painter, but I'm not perfect. So just slow and steady. This is sped up, but you know, slow, steady, super thin. All right, so now we're gonna speed up that top pane. It's the exact same thing. And then I'm not even gonna show you, but I'm gonna do this two more times until we have three coats, okay guys? So let it dry in between coats for at least two or three hours. It's gonna dry quickly, but you want it to actually be dry. Your can of chalkboard paint will tell you how long it needs to dry for though. There's my head. If you guys ever wanted to see the top of my hair, like this is the video. So much faster and fast forward. I think this is sped up like 600%. Beautiful. Ready? Oh, look at that. Three layers looks amazing. All right, now we're going to glue all our pieces on. So once you've got the perfect spot for your shell, you're just going to use a little bit of clear resin. I just mixed up about 20 milliliters. And you're just going to literally put a little bit of resin on your little frame here and then put your shell directly into that resin. It will cure and hold the shell in place. Now we're going to do the same thing for our aluminum sign, except you're not gonna have as much of a surface. We're just gonna put as much resin as we can on those cross beams, and that is going to hold our aluminum sign in place. So spread it out. You wanna make sure it covers as much of the surface area as possible. You don't want it to fall down onto the window pane if you could help it. Perfect. Even 20 milliliters of resin is really too much. We could have probably got away with like six. That's right, we'll use it for a different project. Now go ahead and just set your aluminum sign down. You can move it around a little if it's not straight. I mean, your resin's not going to dry for at least a few hours. Now we want to hold it down not with craft paint <laughs> that was not heavy enough I'm gonna try a box instead to disperse the weight evenly and top it off with some heavy paint and now we just wait for it to dry all right y'all don't you love it I love it so I don't know if you can see all the parts but the waves on the window look amazing I will put some close-ups on and there's that aluminum sign looking through the window pane. I bet you guys can't even hear me looking through the window pane to see. There's the shell. There's our chalkboard. This is going to be amazing for any house, but wouldn't this look amazing in a beach house? May or may not be working on a beach house right now. So here's your inspiration, everything you needed, and more. I hope you guys loved this project. If you did, leave me a comment down below. If not, leave me a comment saying what you want to see next. I've got at least 20 different ideas, but I can use more. Bye, y'all.